Hi, I'm Eric at uh, Ups and Downs Farm, uh, and this is Florida Natural Farming. I'm going to do a video on new beginnings. I kind of have a plan of what I'm going to do at the farm here, the new farm. I love it. I'm sitting here with our tortoise, Marco. He's quite large, 115 pounds, 27 inches, about 18 inches across. Uh, he's very nice, uh, and uh, we had a new baby calf last night out of carnation. It's another heifer. Three heifers, three for three. So uh, I read something a while ago. I forget what it was, but it was on how to get heifers rather than bull calves and I don't didn't know how much truth there was to it but they said to not breed your cows on their first few cycles and that way they would have females but if they breed on their first two couple of few heat cycles, they tend to have males. So I waited on all of them, and one carnation, she just didn't take until the babies were born, and then she, all of a sudden she uh, bred. So she waited a long time, but they all had females. So I'm not sure how much of that is coincidence or what, but I experimented a little bit, little bit this year, and I... Uh, held one a little bit, but not very long, and the other one I held another month. So Luna got bred, and then uh, Pepsi got bred, and then Carnation, she's not bred. I'm going to breed our little bull calf, Romy, to Carnation this year. It'll be her first, his first calf, and he's like... 27 inches tall so she's our biggest cow so I'm hoping to get a small uh, calf but I'll show you the bull calf or the heifer calf here in a bit it's quite nice here I love it here I'm we are so happy here it's just so peaceful and quiet in fact there's a plane overhead and that's a rare incident at night, there's nobody behind us, so there's no lights at all. It's just a really incredible spot. It's on a dead end. There's no traffic. And it's 30 minutes to Whole Foods and 30 minutes to Trader Joe's. And we just didn't have that in Bureau Beach. So I like it. Plus, Gainesville has a great farmer's market, which I have yet to go to. So we also got this deer. Um, his name is Goliath. Uh, pet deer. He is a boy. Somebody said it was a boy because it had horns. I thought it was Chloe, but the goat's name is Chloe. And the deer is Goliath. Hi, Goliath. How are you? Hi, honey. Hi, little guy. Very tame. Sweet. Surprised he doesn't jump out of that. Uh, he's nine years old, according to the lady. She raised him since the time he was a fawn. But there's nothing keeping him in there. And then we have this this goat. She's nine. All he she's nine. This is Chloe. Uh, I guess she's kind of nasty. <clears throat> it's old farms. So I'm going to start on the plant area. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So here's our. I guess was it was a birdhouse because she raised harlo or bred for harlequin parrots and we have our wild cat in there uh she's not really wild now but we brought her with us we didn't want her to run away so she's in here inside this uh big uh aviary that we have there's a little kitchen there it's where i chop up all the fruit for the tortoises and give it to them but i noticed that this property had some loquat trees. So I'm going to start talking about what I'm going to do. So we're going to turn all this area into just pasture. 
more pasture. There's our cows and donkeys right back there. We have carnation in the barn, the big barn over there. A uh, nice barn for our little miniature zebus, 18 stalls. Um, so, but here's the loquat trees. I don't know what type they are. I've never had loquats before. Um, but uh, I'm going to find out how much I like them soon. But <clears throat> we're going to just have it all fenced, this area. So we're going to continue, maybe put a fence around this area so that they can't <clears throat> destroy the building, the donkeys and stuff like that from rubbing on it. Um, but uh, some of it I'm going to turn into a food for us. And a lot of people have wanted to know, wanted me to do videos on what I'm going to do here first. First thing I'm going to do now that we have the cows here is I'm going to collect some manure and uh, put it in some rainwater and then uh, fling it on all the area that I'm uh, plan on planting in. And then I'm trying to let some of the areas grow out where I'm going to plant. Uh, I think this is going to be pasture. But around the house, I'm going to have food forest. So all this area here is all going to be food forest. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do pasture over here. I don't know, I really haven't figured out how much I wanna do in pasture. I know I don't wanna do the whole thing in food forest, but I want to kind of stop the mowing around these old beautiful live oak trees and start leaving uh, the branches and stuff. Everyone cleans up and and burns their, their branches. The lady that was here was burning PVC pipe and trash and everything else which kind of horrified me, but I guess in Florida, you just have to assume that that's probably going on when you live in the country. Um, they just, that's what they do. And I was just shocked. I didn't think that they were doing that here, but I could tell that the ground's kind of compacted, <clears throat> not as bad as it is in Vero Beach, but that will eventually kill these live oak trees. Uh, they start rotting from the inside and then they just start dying <clears throat> due to compaction, for sure. So in this area, there's some citrus trees. So they, they kind of look anemic and sickly. Uh, I'm not sure if they have greening. This one kind of looks like it has greening, uh, but uh, they need some cow manure. It looks like they put horse manure around this one. Probably around that one they did too, but horse manure is not cow manure, that's for sure. So, got some citrus, some oranges, looks like. Maybe tan, uh, clementines, maybe, is what these are. And over here, it looks like some oranges also. Hopefully there's some seeds from these. I have a bunch of tangerine seedlings my friend Frank gave me that I brought with me. And I have them over here with my some of my rare aeroids I bought. So I have a, or a that I brought with me. Of course, I bought them. This is a Thai Lesser, not the best color on that. I mean, a Thai Constellation, Thai Lesser. And then I brought some of my seedlings up here. These are Kwai Muk seedlings from our fruit. This is a uh, Monster Obliqua Peru. That's uh, Monster uh, Philodendron Gigas. This is Philodendron melanochrysum. And then this is a, this is a Monstera deliciosa yellow Maryland. And this is a Philodendron bilietae variegated. This is a Monstera deliciosa mint. And this is a Monstera deliciosa a plant almost died, arrived when I was in Palm Springs, and I said to leave it in the package, but they took it out and put it in water. Most of it rotted off, but it looks like it's putting out a new leaf finally. This is the uh, Bur uh, Monstera Dis Deliciosa Burley Mark, or Cream Brulee. This is a... Uh, 
that's a, I forget what that is. Is that uh, Epiprenum Bali? It's variegated. I don't know, something like that. But there's also other little trees around here, uh, camellia, camellia bushes and uh, hibiscus. But I did see my neighbors have, uh, they had Monstera deliciosa uh, fruit uh, tr plants, not fruit, but uh, plants, Monstera aeroids. <laughs> Been a while since I made a video. I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, not together here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do probably all this area in pasture. I'm going to still mow, but I'm not going to mow all the time. I'm not going to have it a lawn. I'm probably going to mow this area once or twice a year but I'm gonna have cows running through it and then I'm gonna do food forest from here over. Of course, this is gonna be parking. Another interesting thing that I found, let me go look at it, is giant uh, yapan holly. <clears throat> Big yapan hollies. just very nice and peaceful here. I love it. It's amazing we uh, found this place. Here's the up on Holly. It's quite large. I knew what it was because I have one in Vero Beach. So, you know, that's the indigenous uh, caf caffeinated tea that I think it's the only caffeinated indigenous source of uh, plant that uh, is from North America. So I'm going to do food forest all through this area. And probably I'm going to leave that open area lawn over here. I'm going to have some lawn. I'm going to, because I, I just want something a little different than Vero Beach, where Vero Beach was all food forest, wild, which just pass through, which I love. But this, I want to do pastures, working pastures, and some of those pastures I want to be shaded so that when it's very hot, I could put the cows in the shaded pasture. It's very nice here. It's just all horse farms, beautiful horses across the street, uh, black and white. It looks like there are those uh, gypsy horses. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do food forest over here, I think, just as a buffer between the properties. And food forests in this little island here. So pretty here. I can't believe how incredibly gorgeous it is up here in the Ocala area. <clears throat> Very country, but it's got some city amenities, which Vero Beach was lacking. The shopping for groceries in Vero Beach was just, it was a struggle. Struggle to find organic food. <clears throat> so I am gonna try to experiment on these riding arenas because we don't have a use for riding arenas. And I thought I'd just convert them to pasture. I know they cost a lot of money to put in, but we're never going to have horses again. So I'm just going to start uh, planting some vegetables in there. I'm going to mix some raw manure in the sand. And I have a bunch of seeds I'm going to experiment with. I like to dry farm, so I'm going to see how that goes. So I just mix raw zebu manure directly in the soil and then plant my seeds in it and walk away. 
and we'll see if that works. My partner goes, well, are you think they play, spray glyphosate there? And I'm like, um, I don't think they did because they constantly would like use the tractor to grade it. So I'm pretty sure that they didn't spray it. Probably along the edges they did because guaranteed they did use a Roundup weed killer. So this was a round pin here. I did a lot of driving on this property, which uh, definitely um, creates issues, obviously. But it looks good like this, so I do want to keep parts of this. <clears throat> but I want to give the oak trees some space. Uh, so like 20-foot rings around them, great big beds, and then some lawn areas in more open areas. But... Uh, lots of food forest on the edges. We're going to have all board, four rail board fencing put in and have this barn painted. This barn's incredible. Uh, it's got uh, living quarters in it and uh, it's got two uh, fulling pens in it. It's concrete block. Uh, it's got a hayloft, it's got wash rack, it's got parking for cars, it's got tack room, it's got feed room, and everything's steel. All the doors are steel, all the windows are steel. <clears throat> it's got steel bars, just super nice. I want to get rid of all this uh, black plastic or black rubber. Um, I read this study where black plastic is probably the most toxic plastic there is. So this is the hay storage area. This is the wash washroom area. This is the kitchen like area. They have laundry and needs to be fixed up of course, but um, it's in good shape. Paint will go a long way. Ta -da. And it's got a feed room. Or what is this? This is a tack room. Yes, tack room, feed room. All steel doors. All of these are steel, solid steel too. It's not, uh, it's not cheap, very heavy. Um, clay line stalls for the bedding, for the floors. But I have my little heifer, my cow, Carnation in here. Hi, Carnation, how's your baby? There she is. <laughs> Let me come in here. Hi, Carnation. How are you? How's Pumpkin? She cute or what? Hi, girl. Hi, Pumpkin. How are you? Oh, Halloween baby. Oh, I can't believe we got three heifers. She's solid red. I wonder if she'll turn black or she'll turn gray. She doesn't want to get up. Little pumpkin. Your mother wants you to get up. There you go. Good drink. She's kind of big. She's a big calf. Hi, pumpkin. How are you? a good mother. Very cute. I love them. Has a living quarters. But I love it. The, uh, Living quarters has windows that look into the fulling, fulling pens. Very large 
uh, stalls. It was a thoroughbred uh, breeding facility, thoroughbred racehorses. Now it's a miniature zebu farm. So we gotta throw away all these rubber mats. So there's some work that has to be done here, but <clears throat> we're slowly getting it. And then it has some uh, steel lined feed uh, grain bins. I park our car in here, but I'm charging charging my car right now. I had to put in a charging station over there at the trailer. There's the neighbor's property right there. These buildings are on this property, but the house is on the neighbor property. This is on, we'd like to tear this building down. This one's okay. <clears throat> But I saw that they had Monstera Deliciosa growing over here. Where did I see that? Oh, there, there it is. So that's a good sign. I get my blower and blow the oak stuff off the roof the uh, Spanish moss. There's my little cows. The donkeys, where are they? They seem to really like it here. So now we're gonna have six cows, two bulls, but we're buying another bull. Um, it's got this chicken coop. I thought about throwing some seeds, some pepper seeds in here because I do see a pepper plant growing in here. <clears throat> got red peppers on it, I see. In the chicken, this is the old chicken coop. Some corn growing in there too. Those are my little darling cows. Everyone seems very happy. Anyway, this is Eric at Ups and Down Farm. And this is Florida Natural Farming. Haven't started doing any planting yet, but I'm still trying to think where I want everything. And I gotta get my seeds, so I'm gonna start doing vegetables. And I need to get my wheelbarrow up here so I can spread some manure around and do a manure spray for the areas I want to plant in. Anyway, have an excellent day. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a nice comment. Thank you.